everybody, and welcome to Chrono Plays, the August 2015 arcade block from Nerd Block. Let us get started. Let's get to the interesting stuff already. Come on. There we go. All right, so first things first, t-shirt, as always. We have Konami mm -hmm. Counter-Strike. Yay, it's a shoot 'em up game. I don't know, Counter-Strike is incredibly popular, but I've never actually played it. I'm not much of a multiplayer shooter person. I really am not. Wait. No Kami. Okay. Counter-Strike. Official not in Dendo. Seal of quality. Licensed by Not and Dendo for play on the Not and Dendo Entertainment System. It's a joke. Okay, it's an anti Konami thing. Awesome. This is what happens when I don't read. It's a no Kami. <laughs> okay, that is actually better. Okay, I, I I like this now. All of a sudden, I like this. Moving along. <laughs> That's interesting. We have a scorpion. Chibi plushie. It is. It's a it's a Mortal Kombat X. Eh, not a fan of Mortal Kombat X. Gruesome for gruesome's sake, and that's it. It, it. There's it doesn't really add anything. It's just gory for gore's sake. His eyes are dirty. Hmm. Anyways, it's a uh, yeah Chibi Scorpion, and it looks more in the style of the original Mortal Kombat than Mortal Kombat X because. Mortal Kombat 10 has is a lot more stylized from what I've seen. This is much more of the like the original Scorpion, which I like. It doesn't have a hangy thing on its head though, so I can't hang it from anything. And it's not going to well, it'll stand on its own, but it won't stand on its own unless something's backing it. So, it has to lean up against something. So, we'll put you over here. There we go. He can he's a ninja, he's hiding. You can't see him. Next things next, we have uh, one, two, three, four, wristband. It's a open quote end quote thing. I don't get it. Does it does it mean something? Nerd block exclusive wristband. Uh, no, nothing on the package itself. I guess I'll have to look at the little piece of cardboard when it comes up but uh not a fan original video game soundtrack for scott pilgrim versus the world the game Ooh. see now this i don't mind uh, the I'm, I'm not a big fan of scott pilgrim it was a good comic it was an okay movie but i like the game the game was good and it had really some good music so uh yeah i'm gonna listen to this I am. This may end up going in the collection as well, like uh, into the museum. I have a whole bunch of video game soundtracks in the museum, and this might end up going in there. Hmm. All right. Next, we have Fallout Boston Vault Dwellers. So this is from Vault Fallout 4, because Fallout 4 is based in Boston. Is it? Yeah, I think that's what I heard. And uh, so, yeah, we got, uh, we got a... Pennant thing. Pennant? That's what it is? Yeah, it's a pennant. Uh, and it has space. Yes, it has space, so you can put it on a stick. Um, that may end up being hung up somewhere. That's... I like this. I like this a lot. Ooh, so far so good. Let's see, anything else? No, we have a, uh, another retro video game magazine. I don't know why, oh why, oh why I would need to buy a subscription to these guys since they keep giving me a free one. Seriously, it's been like, I've got three of these things, and I keep making fun of it because it's called Retro Video Game Magazine, and it's... <sighs> yeah, pisses me off. All right. Ooh, I see something that says Legend of Zelda. The Legend of Zelda 2, a link to arcade block. The adventure continues this September. Okay. Hey, listen, Q Navi. 
The next arcade block is linking fans between worlds to Hyrule with items from one of the most iconic and influential gaming franchises ever, The Legend of Zelda. Subscribers can expect an exciting treasure chest full of nostalgic treats and new surprises, trying... Wait, tying into the theme of a valiant hero's quest to defeat ancient evils. If you got the rupees to spare, you'll definitely want to stay subscribed to see what's coming next. If you don't have the rubies to spare, you might want to check all of the nearby vases to... or cut some lawns. Yeah, okay, so, um... Legend of Zelda is coming to Arcade Block. And I know that was a total, total free advertisement for Arcade Block right there, seriously. But, uh, it's... King Legend of Zelda. I don't have a problem with that. All right, let's actually get this the hell out of the way because I don't care about you. All right, so let's see what we got. We got the uh, Shirt Punch t-shirt from Counter-Strike. This exclusive t-shirt from Shirt Punch combines the modern hit with a classic design aesthetic for, of a game... Wait, I, I totally lost my place. With the design aesthetic from of a classic game box. Love this shirt. Go to... Shirt, oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, original video game soundtrack for the Scott Pilgrim. Terry Cloth wish Wristband. Uh, things can get intense during epic marathon gaming sessions. Keep you keep your cool with its exclusive Terry Cloth Wristband. But it doesn't say what the hell it is. I'm going to have to trust on you guys to explain to me why the... what what If this symbol actually means anything, if I care about anything. Like, that symbol I'd recognize. That's the Guitar Hero symbol. That I'd recognize. Uh, Boston Vault Dwellers, uh, that was the pennant, Retro Video Game Magazine, moving along, and then the Mortal Kombat X plushie. Oh, could, so you could have gotten Scorpion, or Scorpion, or Sub-Zero, which is great. I'm glad I got, uh, Scorpion, he's my favorite character in the game, has been since the original Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 1. Um... Mortal Kombat X is the biggest and best game in this series. Mm. <laughs> that's up to debate, uh, I will tell you that much, and one in which Scorpion and Sub-Zero have fulfilling closure to their ongoing saga. I, to be perfectly honest, you kind of have to know everything about Mortal Kombat, like read the extra stuff. They don't really explain the uh, ongoing saga in the games very well. Uh, if you ever wanted to hug one of these deadly ninjas, now you can. Well, considering Scorpion is, you know, reincarnated demon from hell, uh, I don't think so. And I think that's it for Nerd Block. Yes, it is. So, as tradition dictates, what goes back in the box? Well, that's a no-brainer. Obviously, the, uh, you know, what's came from the box is goes back in the box. This is just a plain advertisement uh, to show off the next arcade block so that goes back in the box the scott pilgrim that's actually going in my cd player in about mm, 10 minutes somewhere around there this thing for right now is going back in the box until somebody explains to me what it is and even then it'd probably stay in the box because i don't need a wristband i have a wristband and it does far cooler than that the uh boston vault dwellers that's hanging up on the wall Chibi Plushy Scorpion, that's going somewhere because that is freaking awesome. And <laughs> this is going into my regular rotation of t-shirts that I'm wearing. Seriously. Uh, if it was just Konami, if it wasn't making fun of Konami, if it was just Konami, it, it would probably go back in the box because, you know, personally, I don't care about the Counter-Strike game and I'm not too terribly thrilled about Konami right now. I mean, I can't say I'm pissed at Konami because I don't fully understand what's going on, but I'm not happy with Konami. So, uh, yeah, this is going into the rotation, and I will say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game, and have fun. And apparently, uh, if you really like Legend of Zelda, you should probably subscribe to Arcade Block for next month, unless you already subscribe to it, which is awesome.